Hello and welcome to my channel Bit by Curiosity. Today we will understand and calculate one of the most common yet important HR metric which is attrition rate or also called as turnover rate. There are couple of formulas to calculate attrition rate. In this video we will cover one of them and calculate it in Excel from employee base data. So let's begin. Attrition rate is defined as the rate at which employees leave an organization from a specific group over a particular period of time. How to calculate attrition rate? Attrition rate is equals to number of employees that left during a specified period divided by average number of employees for that particular period. To calculate percentage, we will simply multiply this rate by 100. Now let's assume number of employees that left during a specified period were 20 and average count for that particular period was 100. Attrition percentage would be 20 divided by 100 which is 20%. So, attrition can be calculated in multiple ways. This is just one of the formula. I will try to cover some more in my next videos. For now, let's see how can we get the required numbers here in these yellow highlighted cells from base data. Since most of the times you would want these fields to be dynamic and update as per the changes in base data. So, I have three more Excel sheets. I will be calculating attrition for a period starting from 1st April 2020 till 28th February 2021. Next sheet that I have includes data of all employees who have exited during this period. Sheet after this includes the headcount data for 1st April 2020 and the next sheet includes headcount data for employees who were with the organization as on 20th Feb 2021. Do note these last two sheets include data for employees active on that particular date. So coming back to our calculation sheet. We need number of employees exited. That's simple. We will take a count from our next sheet. Equals to count. Let me go to the exited sheet and select column B. So it will count all non-blank cells, which is 20 in our case. Now there are multiple ways to calculate average head count. I am using the simplest one over here, which is taking the head count for 1st April 2020, which is employees at the beginning of specified period, adding it with the head count of 20th Feb 2021, which is employees at the end of specified period, and dividing it by 2 to calculate the average. You can also calculate average by adding headcount of every month from April last year till Feb this year and dividing it by 11. However, for this video, I am keeping it simple. So to calculate headcount at the beginning of specific period, which is for April 2020, I will use count formula again and count column B in April 2020 sheet. Similarly, for employee count at the end of specified period, for us it's Feb 2021, I will take count of column B in Feb 2021 sheet. To calculate average, I will take head count of April 2020 
and Feb 2021 and divided by 2. To calculate attrition rate, I will divide employees left during this period with the average headcount. Now, this is current attrition. What if we want to calculate annualized attrition? Let us first understand what is annualized attrition. Annualized attrition is essentially a projection of annual turnover. So, if in the month of April, my attrition percentage was 2%, then annualized attrition from April last year till March this year would be 2 into 12 because 2 is the attrition percentage for first month that is for one month to calculate it for 12 months we will have to multiply it by 12 that is if i lost 2 percent of employees in first month continuing at same pace for rest of the year attrition percentage would be 24 percent Let's come back to our calculation. Here, attrition percentage for 11 months is 20%. So, for 12 months, it would be 20 multiplied by 11 divided by 12. And that's it. So, here we are done with calculating attrition percentage. Also, in case you want to do it for entire financial year again, all you need to do is update the exited employee sheet and replace the data in Feb 2021 sheet with March 2021 sheet and your numbers will update automatically. I will be covering more different formulas to calculate attrition rate in my upcoming videos. So if you're keen to learn the same, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon near it. So that's it for this video. If you found my video helpful, do click on the like button and subscribe my channel. Do share your comments on which Excel formula or problem statements I should cover in my next video. Stay safe, keep learning and bye-bye for now.